Hi there everybody, my name is Taylor. I'm coming at you with a new playthrough for Dude Den Gaming. This is going to be my Pokemon Ruby playthrough. Everyone here seems to uh, hate the whole Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald genre, but it is in fact one of my favorite ones, just for all the extra stuff that they have put in after the game. Um, and we will get to that eventually, but for right now, we're just going to see how this goes. Um, I'm just going to fast forward through this because anyone that's ever played a Pokemon game hates this more than anything in the world. And, you know, it's fairly right. Um, so like I said, my name is going to be Taylor. And no one cares about this. And blah blah blah. And this is where the adventure actually begins. Um, so we start out in the back of this moving truck. Uh, back when I was a child, it took me about maybe an hour to get through all that. And we see our mom. Uh, why we were riding in the back of a moving truck is actually, uh, it's actually just a question I'm coming to now. That doesn't feel like the safest place for a child to be. But uh, we're going to go inside our house now. We've got these giant machokes over here doing all the work. Because, uh... You know, people are too lazy to do anything now, and it's all Pokemon. Uh, time to go set the clock. And uh, yes, the clock is off. Better start it, and I don't care what time it is. It's just a little thing about mine. It's never actually understood why you were supposed to set the clock in this game. It's just kind of stupid to me. Uh, we have to go through all the boring early parts before we can actually get to having fun. Blah, blah, blah. Missed out on Dad being on TV. Oh, shucks. But he lives a block away. Not a big deal. I guess it's not really a block away. It's like two cities away. But, uh... Now we go over to meet the r rival of this game, I suppose. Um, and... I've always found it weird that, uh... You're brand new into town, and, you know, this girl's mother is already sending you to up into her room alone. My mom still has issues when I have a girl in my room. So, uh, it's, I guess, life of Pokemon, way better. You get Pokemon, and you get to go into girls' rooms without having any issues. And now we're going to get our first Pokemon. Oh, and I didn't mean to hit that button twice. Help, he's getting chased by a level 2 Pokemon, and he's stupid and forgot his bag of Pokeballs. Um, so, I've had some debate over which Pokemon to start with. Uh, all three of them are really good. Uh, I think Trico is probably the coolest, but he's the least viable when it comes to later parts of the game. So I'm probably going to go with Torchic, just because uh, it's really hard to get a fire Pokemon up until you get to uh, a bit later in the game, and fire Pokemon are always good to have. So we're just going to scratch our way through this fight, because it's that easy, and we have won our first Pokemon battle, just like that. Now we find out that he was being dumb and didn't have his Pokeballs with him. And now we teleport it to the lab. And now he says I get to keep the Pokemon that I saved his ass with. Uh, I, I don't nickname Pokemons. It's just, uh, it seems like just extra stuff that I don't really care too much about, and now I get to go meet up with his daughter. So I'd like to apologize to begin with, uh, the starting of these playthroughs are going to be a little bit boring. I like to get a couple uh, battles in before I go and meet Mei, just so I can, you know, it's not level 5 on 5, and so I can be super OP super early, because, uh, you know, She's kind of a bitch, and she chooses what counters me, so she deserves to have to go up against, like, a level 8. Just 
Just my own personal thoughts, though. Uh, I don't feel like talking to that girl to get the potions. Because I hardly ever use potions. Ooh. Wish I had Pokeballs already. I would have caught that Wingle if I could. Do I have Pokeballs? I don't think I'll get Pokeballs until after I go back. Definitely would have went for a Wingle, though. And it's growling at me a lot. This is going to take forever now. Oh, and unless I get a critical hit, it's awesome. Uh, so we're already level 6, and we're going to fight May, who will be level 5. Um, I want to get at least 7 before I go. Uh, just because I, I want it to go a little bit faster and not have to use stuff like Growl in order to care about winning, so I can just scratch my way through. Zigzagoon, the most worthless and useless Pokemon in this game. Uh, I think it's been, uh, it's finally been matched by, uh, the latest generation of games. Uh, it's that thing called Stungfish or something. Stupidest Pokemon I've ever seen them make. Uh, I don't know why they would ever put something like that in the game. It's just ugly and annoying. It serves no general purpose to any battle, like, ever. Oh, Poochiana. Looks stupid, but when it evolves, becomes epic. Okay, now we're gonna hit level 7. We're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, get some health. And now we've got Focus Energy, which is sweet. And now I'm basically just going to roll my face over the keyboard and destroy Mei when I battle her. Uh, and I'm going to speed this up just because no one likes watching that. So, you know. I'll try and speed up all the boring parts that I can without fast-forwarding everything in the first couple episodes. Yes, let's have a quick battle, see what being a trainer's like. And you took the water type Pokemon because you are a bitch. So I'm going to start off with Focus Energy, uh, just hoping to get critical hits, and she got a critical hit, so now I'm jealous as fuck. Oh, but now you missed, so we're about that. See, there's the, that's the whole reason you start out with Focus Energy. Because now, I was actually shouldn't have been that close, but whatever, not a big deal. Okay, now we head back to the lab, and we get another battle or so here. Just trying to get all the experience I can while I'm around here, just so uh, when I get to the gems, it makes it a lot easier. I'm not gonna bother healing up, just cause no. Oh, and some weird frame drops there. It's strange. Now we go and get the Pokedex. Just a bunch of boring talking, and hey, I got the Pokedex. Awesome. You know what a Pokedex does? I've played Pokemon before. You don't have to explain it. Cool. Now let's hope I can find another one of those Wingles. Because... We'll definitely go for that. Uh -uh. Now I get the running shoes, I believe. Should be sweet. Because walking in Pokemon games is annoying. And now we sprint. Now we sprint everywhere. This is 
six again, annoying. And we'll heal up now. I forgot to speed that up for the first half. Apologize about that. Mm, now we get to take off, and let's get into our first trainer battle. And I will probably call it an episode after this. Uh, we'll see how you guys like it. See if you like me, hate me. Don't really know. Uh, if you guys don't want me to continue with this, I'll probably just stick with uh, the other stuff we have planned for Dude Den Gaming. Uh, but. We'll be making that more known in the future. I know we've got a big day coming up with us tomorrow. We're going to be doing, getting a lot of content prepared and everything. So uh, for right now, I just made short work of that Zigzagoon because Zigzagoon is a worthless Pokemon. And I just beat up a little kid and took his $80 off of him. So that's awesome. We're going to call that an episode. This is Taylor from Do Dead and Gaming signing out.